stop what you're doing. Hey, there, how you doing? What's up? Everybody on your feet, get up. Good laughs, good people, good vibes. Get ready, cause it's about that time. So clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Laugh it up, laugh it up, laugh it up. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Laugh it up, laugh it up, laugh it up. Everybody get ready. Everybody get ready. Everybody get What up, y'all? It's your boy Rodney Perry. This is uh, Hot Topics. Uh, today, a uh, brand new show I'm, I'm putting on the YouTube and the Facebook where grown folks dis- discuss the uh, <laughs> the hot topics of the day. My guest today, Jay Renee. What's up, sis? Oh, what's up, baby? Jay Renee is in the building. Very dope. Say that, J- Jay Renee. How are you? What you got going on? Uh, right now, um, I'm in a, uh, you know, I'm, I'm here chilling at the rehabilitation uh, facility, rehabbing. Um, I've been declared. Uh, disabled by Medicaid. I got okay. a, uh, I got a little uh, boss over role that I just got booked for. Uh, we had yeah. table read today. I for, uh, I forgot about it and uh, missed the first thirty minutes. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You told the board. I know, but I I know it was for the. Okay, no, 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 no. we coming back to you, Jay Renee. We coming back. To you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, he's a producer. He keep it keep you cracking. Beast Gordy in the building. What's up, Beast? You on mute? What's happening? Oh, they, how are you, bro? <laughs> I'm all right. Hey, man, thank you for coming on, man. We needed some male energy in the building. Uh, a lot of crazy stuff going on in the news. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get on out of here. You with me? Oh, I'm with you. Hey, where you at in the world, Beats? Detroit, Detroit. Detroit, Michigan. Man, yeah. what up, though? What up, though? <laughs> Word. Here we coming back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming with us today, Harris, Harris, Popping, she stopped her barbecue festivities the more to come out and hang with us. How you doing, Miss Candy? I'm doing good. How are you? Can you show us the whole outfit? Can we see the whole outfit? Ooh. I, can't, I can't get the boots, but they, they're there. <laughs> I'm that man. I'm that man. So, hey, we're gonna talk about some grown activity, grown stuff happening in the news, and I'm gonna get your opinion along with my other guest. Uh, she's Candy. Candy, what part of the world are you in? Indianapolis, Naptown, home of Mike Naptown, Epps. Naptown, Mike Epps in the building. Uh, the Upshaws, oh, Beats Gawley from Detroit coming in, and my girl, Jay Renee. Uh, first topic today, uh, there's another mass shooting that happened in California. Nine people dead. My question to you guys is, are we, be- are we becoming, is it getting to a point where you're not even tripping off of this no more? Like, like, are we becoming desensitized to these type of things, uh, Candy? Um, I feel like at in in this point in the game, it we hear about shooting so much, and it, it's a sad case where I feel like we have become numb slash comfortable with everything that's going on. But then, when something like this happens, and not to throw in race or anything like that, but. It, it feels as though when they do something like that, they go, oh, they're having mental illness or something mm. like that. But okay. if we were to do something, it's lock them up, throw away the key. Or you, you get what I'm saying? It, 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 that, that's, a, that's, that's a tough one. No, no, I, I hear you. And you make, you make a great point. Jay Renee, are we becoming desensitized to, to the whole idea of, of these bad shoots? Well, I don't know about we, but I know I ain't desensitized to it. Because at the end of the day, uh, you know, a lot has happened in the world. And I've been, in a sense, in a bubble. And I'm almost afraid to come back out into the real world now. Because I'm about to be entering the real world again. And I'm scared. Like, damn, you can't go to the grocery store no more. To the mall, to the movies. You know, the world opening back up. And these fools shooting everybody. So, uh, desensitizing is, you know, to say we are desensitized. Maybe you can say that for you, but for me, I ain't desensitized enough because I'm scared. Wow, wow! And, and you know what? I, I and you know what? Uh, on the real, Jerry, a lot of us are afraid. I mean, and and a lot, a lot of stuff is happening. Beach man, you you in the uh, great state of Michigan, Detroit. Um, 
when you hear about these these mass shootings, man, is that something that that's even raising your eyebrow anymore? It does, but in, in at the same time, it's it's kind of like a catch twenty two. Like you don't want to just go show that you don't really want like, to actually just take it for what it is and try to move on. You know, to be desensitized, but it's 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 hard either way to ignore it or to just dwell on it is is it's hard to pick a, a medium wow hey 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 my guest today miss candy j renee beats gordy we go we go we go talk, uh, talk some funny stuff don't, don't don't trip it ain't gonna be this heavy all the way uh have y'all seen this story there's a new gun law in texas that that you don't need no permit you don't need no license you can just walk up get you a gun Slap it on. Uh, that's the new gun law. Now we got mass shootings on one level, and we got new gun laws on another level. I mean, what did that make you think of, Jay Renee? Well, I'm gonna say this right here, and and uh, some people may agree with me, and some may not. Uh, guns don't shoot people; people shoot people. Okay. Okay. And uh, okay. I would love the opportunity to just walk up and just get me a pistol right quick. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, the Second Amendment rights shouldn't be jeopardized or compromised just because motherfuckers out here doing crazy stuff. Excuse my friend. Well, 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 no, no, no. Jerry Day, you make a great point. And, and, uh, and the NRA is saying exactly what you just said. Beast Gordy, is Jerry Day losing her damn mind? Uh, she not. <laughs> she not at all. Like I, I may look like it, I, don't it, Gordy? I look like I'm losing my mind, don't it? No, no you know, I'm... I, I, I'm not touching that. <laughs> no, uh, no, it's, it's it's fair. Like, I mean, gun laws won't stop criminals from having guns anyway. I mean, but you got to get you got to get a permit to drive. So should but, you ha at the very least need a permit? But I mean, you it's people who do hair, do nails that take more uh, classes than police officers. So it's always going to be somebody wow. that's going to be more qualified for a less uh, dangerous job. But wow. I mean, to my family, I shouldn't be uh given a third degree to protect my family, you know what I mean, especially when criminals ain't worried about no gun laws. Wow, wow, you know what, beat beat you just you just dropped some game on me right there, Miss Candy. You heard what beat said, you heard what Jay Renee said. Um, are, are they right? I mean, should, should people just be able to carry a gun no matter what? I agree with everything that you know both individuals said, but I still say. You given, I, I wish that I could just walk up and give me a gun whenever, however, like, you know, you basically, you're giving people permission that are hot headed, who are, you know, are heavy tempered to just do what they're going to do. You know, I mean, everyone's mental state is not at a capacity to have a, have a firearm. You know, you know what? That, that that's another great point, man. I mean, to 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 gun or not to gun, I, I don't think we're gonna be able to to um to figure that out today. But y'all brought some great points up. Uh, thank y'all for that. Uh, let's move along. The gun yeah. episode of Good Times. Huh? <laughs> Remember the gun episode of Good Times? <laughs> yes. Hey, hey, and how about this, man? Like, I talked to like one of my real like super criminal homies, and he was like. When I carried a gun, I got into more trouble than he said. I ain't had no no altercation in twenty years. I stopped carrying a gun twenty years ago. So uh, I think sometimes when you are ready for violence, it comes your way. Right. But doesn't need to hear no there. We're gonna get off this violence. We're gonna get into something really wonderful and beautiful. And Jerry, now I need you to take a look off your face because this next subject is is amazing. It's Squirting. We're gonna talk about squirting. Did Candy say it? <laughs> Yo, uh, first question to the ladies and maybe to the men too. Uh, have you ever squirted? Jay Renee. You're on mute. You're on you're on mute. Sorry. I'm sorry. You know, huh? I have because. You know, it uh, it's been scientifically proven that squirting is just a form of pee pee, and um, you know. Now that's I that's the next question, Jerry. Is is because there's some the medical professionals when I researched this subject, 
They say some people say it's P, some people say it's not. Is squirting P? Well, my my squirting ain't P because it, it don't smell like P. It's just a clear presence that excretes from my body. But I have talked to some guys that said some of the women had a little piss. Uh oh, -uh. Jay Renee got cut off. Uh oh, -uh. Miss Candy, unmute yourself. Uh, uh, have you squirted? And how old were you when it happened? First time. Uh -huh. <clears throat> yes, I have. And my very first time, I think it was like 23 when I did it. So, so you 23 years old. Are you like, what the, what? I didn't like, I felt like something was finna happen. And then it just happened. I was like, oh, did I just, but the more I did it, like over time, I realized, okay, that's not P. That's bitch, you squirting. So. <laughs> Yo, um, uh, Mr. Beats Gordy, uh, do we we men in this game? Uh, when you first saw somebody squirt, I'm assuming you saw it. When you first saw it, what was you thinking? Like, whoa! I thought, I thought you was about to ask me. I was, like, <laughs> I was about to be like, yeah, I came home from school, but key wouldn't go in the door. I had to go real bad. I ran to the back, had to take care of business right quick. Oh no, nah. right. uh, man, um. <laughs> a young lady did about uh a number of times in one uh one uh evening. I'm I'm gonna take it right there. Uh uh Jay Renee. So the question is, <laughs> is it P or not? Candy, is it P or not? Nope. Uh, I mean, I ain't never squared them. I ain't never squirted before, so I, I don't know uh, what it is. Uh, I've never been in the presence of a squirter. I mean, I I have had uh, I I've came before, but ain't no ain't no stuff excruciated out of my body in a form of a pee substance. You know what I'm saying? Unless I'm pee peeing. So I mean, you know, I, I mean, I've had me some good orgasms, but right. to say that I ain't had orgasms because I ain't squirted. That's a lie. You know, I'm a gusher. You know, I don't squirt. I good. That, like, might, that gush, might have been like squirting. Water, bro. <laughs> Jay Renee, that might have been nope. squirting. No, it's gushing, baby. Mm, that's Ain't that's, no that's thing I, leave, you... I leave that squirting to them millennials. I leave that squirting you... to them millennials. You making up gush? Ain't no such thing as gush. It is. It just gush. It be like gush, like like when you water. What, what, break, what, you know, it, what, what it sound like? What it sound like? Gush, gush. You know, like when the water break. You know what? I'm I can't do this with you. All right. Uh next topic. Let's go into sports. Um, the young lady tennis player Naomi Osaka. I don't know if y'all familiar with her. Uh Asian a uh, girl, she's African American descent as well. Uh, she has decided not to speak to the press no more. And she's looking at getting a twenty thousand dollar per match fine. Every time she don't speak to the press, um, is she doing too much or is it fair? I mean, it's it's fair. I mean, we we watch the press spin a lot of stuff uh, when it comes to minorities. So, I mean, don't say none at all if you if you really don't feel like saying anything. I don't think it's really an obligation that should be put on athletes anyway to have to speak to the press. Wow, well said. Hey, let's look at her real quick. Uh, here she goes. She's she hits flat balls. You can do it. I mean, he was nice about it. At least he wasn't mean, you know. Um, it was kind of, and I actually did do it twice, and it did work. David probably knows a lot about her, so I'll probably talk to him a lot because he likes to talk a lot. I do this sometimes, like, cause that's like the Japanese hello, and then they are like, "Why do you keep doing that with your head?" And I, I'm like, "Oh, sorry, my hair goes here, right?" <laughs> I think it's where I talk because if I put it here, then I think it goes more here. So I don't know about y'all. I, I don't want so to talk to it. In a fun. I was double faulting so much, and I did. so oh, I was like, me, please. There we go. Hey, I don't know about y'all, but I don't. I don't know if I want to talk to the young lady. She she seems like she ain't got a whole lot. She's just a baby. You know what I mean? 
So, but but I feel her. I mean, they ask her all these crazy questions, and she had to ask these questions. And just like Andrea said in the chat, the press will twist your words. Well, well said, Andrea. Appreciate you for coming in. <laughs> Let's look at uh, some of the chat, man. People look uh, up in here watching us today. Uh, Loma said, "Hey." Uh, Keandra said, "Jay Renee, fix your damn face." All right, we are getting in. We're almost at the end of the show. Uh, the NBA is in full effect right now. Uh, the playoffs. Uh, real quick, Candy, who is your team, and are they in the playoffs? I know you're an Indiana girl. Are you a you a Pacer fan? Okay, okay. I'm from Indy. I only like the Pacers, to be honest. Like way, way, way back when Reggie Miller and Jalen, like when they was all playing. But then I started to like it again when Victor Oladipo was here, and now I just don't like it no more. Um, oh. yes, heartbroken. Um, but right now I've been watching, and and I must say, Tatum, that boy got some fire on him. So I, you, I like, you like him because he likes skin. Listen, don't be calling me out. Light is right. No, you know, my mommy used to say black and a berry, sweeter the juice. So I leave dark skin brothers alone, Mr. Perry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, me and Beast, me and Beast was about to start crying. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, she don't like this. Y'all be all right. <laughs> all right, hey, Beast, Beast Gordy, we in the playoffs, man. This is, this is our first year with the playoffs. Um, when um, with without the the pandemic, and right. so we're seeing them back in the stadiums. What do you think about us coming back to the stadiums, man? Um, I think it's needed. Uh, the bubble kind of threw a lot of people off, including the players. So I think it's needed to try to get back to some type of normalcy. Uh, when it comes to the uh, sports, um, uh, I think the players are adjusting, like kind of readjusting to how things used to be. But it's it's gonna be a longer process than probably uh they expected. Wow, well said. Uh Miss J Renee, are you paying attention to the NBA finals? Yeah, I am. Uh I, I I'm I'm starting to like uh basketball again because I couldn't get down with the damn people in the audience on the damn um, you know, the thing. Um the video, the video like, screen. Yeah, that was some weird stuff, man. I was like, man, this world fun to end, man. You can't even go to a game. You at home. Like, even with the talk shows and stuff, it just been weird. Word. But my team, right. my, my team, my team ain't in there. I'm a Boston Celtics yeah. fan. They ain't in there. Boston Celtics. Ain't there. That's what you were just talking about, Boston Celtics. They in there, they in there right now. Oh, they is. I ain't been keeping they, up. They about to go their ass on, but they in right now. Yeah, you know they ain't got they ain't got they ain't got Paul Pierce and stuff and Kevin Garnett no more. So I ain't been paying attention to them for real, for real. Kevin but I Garnett feel like they call us. All right, last last segment, guys. I can't thank y'all enough for coming on today. Last segment. The name of the game is Would You Rather. I'm gonna ask each one of you guys a Would You Rather question. All y'all do is answer mm -hmm. the best way you can. Okay, mm -hmm. a candy. Would you rather? And put you on the screen by yourself. Would you rather you mutual, mutual, mutual other thing, J. Renee? You can't tell me what to do. Okay. Would you rather have a roommate that snored or a roommate that sleepwalk? Huh. Um, first of all, you sleepwalk wrong, you're gonna get punched in the face. Karate chopped. I might, I don't know. You roll up, Ooh. you might get popped. So I would say snore. You know, as long as you don't sound like no bear or nothing, you know, a semi truck. You know, <sighs> call them in or not. I can't. I can't do that. So right. I, I, you know, I think I would take the snorer because if you sleep while wrong, you got to get smacked. You know. I'm not mad at that. I'm mad at that. Uh, beat. You up. That was a pretty good question. I wish you would have asked me that one because my pop snored. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. see if I can find you a good one. Would you rather spend a day in a room with a broken, a broken air conditioner or a broken heater? 
um, a broken air conditioner because it's easier to get warmer than it is to get uh, to actually get a cooler. Like you can be butt naked and still be hot as hell, <laughs> but you can, yeah. you can bundle up. You can always put stuff on. Exactly. Okay. Jay Renee, you ready? Jay Renee, would you rather have unlimited time or unlimited money? Time. Unlimited time. Why so? Um, because you can always get money, but you can never recoup the time. You can never recoup time back. If you got enough time, you get you get some more money. Yep. The thing well, of it, it is, and I'm gonna say and, and the reason and there's a reason behind it why I say that. Um I just recently lost one of my um good cousins, my favorite cousins. And if we would if I, I would have had time. If we would have spent more time um, actually making up with each other, spent less time making up with each other and just time just enjoying one another and understanding this is the difference between us, I wouldn't be feeling so heartbroken right now from her passing. Because she, I, we lost her. She was 47 years old, died of, of um, liver cancer the wow. weekend before Mother's Day. So, yeah, it's been rough last couple of weeks. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with us. Time is valuable. Thank you, Candy. Thank you, Jay Renee. Thank you, Beats. Uh, real quick before we go, uh, how don't, forget the, don't forget to don't forget don't forget to thank this ponytail that I got. You see that? I'm, like I'm gonna save that plan. Save the ponytail last day. So, hey, 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 Miss Candy, Beats, Gordy, how can people be a part of your life, man? Follow you on social media, Miss Candy. You first. Uh, my Instagram is Candy So Crazy. Um. Yeah, and I'm not on Facebook as of right now. TikTok, I'm just getting into it. You can follow me also there under Candy So Crazy or either Honesty Joy, A H N E S T Y Joy. Wow, beats. Everything beats Gordy, just like it's spelled right there. <laughs> just like it's spelled right there. Beat Gordy, Clubhouse, Facebook, um, Instagram, Twitter. Also, uh, now, now, now beat, beat, you're a producer, right? Um, I manage producer, so I'm like the Barry Gordy of beat makers. So I love that, dude. Yeah, so I manage producer. Yeah, I, need, I, I, need some beat, I need some beats for this show. Okay, all right, I got yeah. you. No doubt. Definitely. You. Jerry Renee. All right. Uh, you got, you you got, a new show, you got a new show. You're uh, you're in re rehab right now. Tell me what's going on, sweetie. All right, what's going on is that you can follow me on all social media platforms um, as J Renee underscore comedy. That's on everything Instagram, uh, TikTok, uh, Twitter. Uh, also, I'm trying to build up that following over there on TikTok. Old people on TikTok is hilarious, and I consider myself one of the old ones on TikTok. Baby, when I tell you I'm killing them challenges, I shan't live on them. I did it, baby. I want to scream. Yes, baby. I did that yeah. with this ponytail. Yeah, and, and before we go, shout out to the ponytail. Hey, guys, my name is Rodney Perry. This is Hot Talks with Rodney Perry and friends. Thank you for coming on today, and we're going to be doing this show every day. Y'all see me this Thank Hot Thank you for having us. Thank yeah, you well for done, having guys. us. Thank you, Rodney. Thank you.